Guy's teacher and examiner will be Steve Hunt, a former RAF instructor who himself learned in a jet provost. You flew one of these 18? Yes. Four weeks of practice and you were flying solo in four weeks? From the start of flying, yes. So you're right, no better man for the job. Well, it just goes to show anyone can do it. All pilot training in the RAF now begins on the jet provost. It was the trainer until the early 1990s in the Air Force. Every pilot, didn't matter if you flew fighters or helicopters, you flew these to start with for the first okay. year. Okay. It's designed for an 18-year-old to grossly mishandle. You will break before it does. Okay. If the plane does break, though, Guy needs to know his route out. Live ejection seats. Should we need to eject, I will say, eject, eject. Who's going first, me or you? If you ever see me out of the aeroplane... I need to be out. It's time for you to follow. Yes. OK, OK. You get a 30G kick up the back. 30G? Yeah. You'll probably break your back if you use the ejection seat. OK. But it's a very nice aeroplane to fly. It's, it's just every switch is in completely the wrong place. Standard British design yes. from the 1950s. Yeah. What's that for? That's for shutting the window. Time to fly. Hard push with your thumb and keep it pushed until I tell you. Keep it pushed, keep it pushed. Let it go. All hunky-dory. You always get like dual control, so I know, I know I'm going to be flying at some point and we're going to go through a bit of a dummy run. Steve, though, has other ideas. I'm quite happy for you to do everything. The taxi out, the takeoff. I'll just guide you. He says, oh, you seem like you know what you're doing. Oh, I've told you that, mate. I ain't got quite what to him. Pupils are given control as soon as possible when learning a new exercise. Hand on the stick, hand on the throttle. Oh, I don't know what you told me. You have control. I have control. I'm not bloody Tom Cruise around. Dab the brakes. Hit a left. So left, left rudder. No, nope. left rudder. We did go right instead of left, and we nearly took the camera crew out. Ah, uh, sorry. I, I, it was really sensitive. Sorry. Don't come left, or we'll be in those aeroplanes. Full power, let the brakes go. And off we go. Your aeroplane. This is the moment of truth. That's nice. Start pulling at 70 now. Gently back. Yes, yeah, 70 now. Pull, 70 pull now. Back, pull back. Gently up. Now stop. OK, push the red button for the gear. Yep. And we're good height, get the flap up. Flaps up. Bloody hell, I felt a different sound. Don't descend. You have it. Now very gently, just come to the left. Go left. Don't go down, just keep a gentle climb. And keep that hand on the throttle. Okay. I was way out of my comfort zone when we got going. Try and keep it vaguely level. Being out of their comfort zone was a very familiar feeling for the first jet pilots. These were men who had trained on propeller-driven piston engine planes and now found themselves making the step up to a revolutionary new technology. The whole business of flying is completely different. Quite challenging, learning to fly it in a jet. People just weren't able to do it. Usually quite a few losses in that very early stages. All the pilots of my generation will have known several people who died in air crashes. And that was just the way it was in that era. I'm leaking. I'm sweating. <laughs> you've got a good speed. You've got a good height. That's a good heading. And it's all sorted. I was just 19 years old as a machine that goes at 500 miles an hour, leap aboard and have a go. It was more than twice as fast as anything else I'd flown. I have never known such extreme emotions. One bit of me was exhilaration, and one bit of me was sheer terror. We'll do one right orbit, just so you can get the feel, as steep or as not steep as you want. Things happen very quickly. 
and you can be taken by surprise if you're not careful about thinking and what you're doing. That's nice. Well, that's very nice. You can't just sit there with your thumb up your backside because you're travelling at seven miles a minute. You need to be ahead of the game all the time. Now, the other way. Go left. That's it. The other thing is fuel. It's like throwing 20-pound notes in a fire. We get through fuel very quickly. Let's have a quick look at the fuel. Yeah, plenty of fuel. Plenty? plenty of fuel. All the time, you're watching a fuel gauge and working out how much you need to get home 